Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing Retro Bowl and College Retro Bowl and we're going to be comparing the two. So I have already played Retro Bowl um, like the normal kind. If you go watch my previous videos you'll see that. So we can't really compare them starting each other but you know we can compare their gameplay and stuff. So we're going to start off with Retro Bowl and so we're starting a completely new season. Unfortunately, I do have, like, as I said before, a whole team already in College Retro Bowl. It's completely new, though. Like, I have never played this before. So, you know, it's going to be a new experience, and we're going to be able to compare the two. So let's get right into it. Um, I think I'm just going to play one game with both and just see how it goes. So let's just get right into playing a game with the, off, with the normal Retro Bowl. So I'm going to call that one College Retro Bowl, and I'm going to call this one the NFL just to split it up. So we're playing the NFL right now. We are the Carolina Panthers, so um, let's get into it. So we start off with a draft. Um, how about we don't sign any of these guys to make it as fair as possible to similar? And we go into the draft and we look for a QB and a couple of defense. So we see a QB here. We'll just sign everybody we see. Uh, we do have quite a few picks, so we'll just pick it take all defensive players so we'll just take all defensive players since I think that would help us the most I guess anyways it doesn't really matter since I don't know if we're going to be doing a draft but we'll see if they're any different hopefully they are I'm hoping since I've never played college retro bowl before I'm hoping it's quite a bit different so I can actually um compare the two if they're pretty similar then <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do so I don't know if I should sim the game. No, we'll play the game just to see how it is. So I have played the NFL Retro Bowl before, although this is new. I have not seen, like, you can activate the sim in the middle of the game. Continue playing. All right. So I'm going to sim their defense when we're playing defense since we don't do anything. But when we're playing offense, I'll play just to see how it is. And then we'll do the same thing for College Retro Bowl and... Yeah, that should be good. We should be able to compare the two. And, uh, yeah, that's the whole point of this video. <laughs> All right, it is third and eight. So let's start rating this. It's, like, it's pretty good, I'd say. I mean, we're not playing too good because we are on extreme mode. And as you saw, I just picked some. No, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. We didn't get the first down. So we'll just activate sim. Really skip the first quarter, but um. Oh wait, I yo it's twenty to three. All right, let's just let them finish. All right, it's our turn to play offense, and we have to make a huge comeback. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, I think I threw an interception. Yes, I did. So it's not looking too good. I'd say this game is pretty hard as right now, or I'm just bad. They do punt, so we are getting stops, and it's now our turn again. So, wide open. Okay, he does catch it. So, this game does have good mechanics. We see the achievements. That's pretty cool. A new record. All pretty cool stuff. But, um, all right. So, we are marching. We're playing, I think, two, three minute quarters. I meant to play two minute quarters, but it's okay. All right. So, this, we see new records, new achievements, and stuff. We have a timeouts. So I'm, I'd am say this is like a pretty good managed game, you know, pretty well set up. But I played that, I played this before, so I already know everything. I'm really interested to see what the college retro bowl is going to look like. All right, let's jump ahead to like the third or fourth quarter because I'm going to give my final rating after the whole game ends. Okay, it's the fourth quarter. We have made quite a bit of a comeback, 38 to 21. And I'm saying we have a chance, so at least, you know, it doesn't get too out of hand in these games. We still have three timeouts. We haven't used any in the third quarter, so we'll see. Oh, okay, he did catch that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good catch. And, oh, these guys, we can see in the bottom, like, it, their morale. So that's also pretty cool if they're mad, super mad, angry, happy, sad, all that cool stuff. But, um... Yeah. All right, we'll see if we can make the comeback. It might not be possible since we are down like two or three scores. 
Um, but yeah. Okay, we do score. Oh, wait, we didn't score yet. All right, I thought we would score there. We still have three chances to at least make this. Okay, let's call an audible. Test it out. Oh, let's go. Barely scored. The dive comes in clutch. That was a pretty good animation as well. We'll go for the two. Unfortunately, we used our one audible and we missed it. No. All right, let's try an onside kick. It doesn't work. And... We're just going to sim the rest of the game. We lose 45 to 27. Pretty bad, but it's ultimately too, not too bad. And we do get these cool things afterwards to um, hype players up or put them down. Quarterback did play pretty well, I'd say. 405 yards is pretty, it's a lot. And we did take an interception. So that was a pretty good game. I liked it. it you know, it was smooth. I didn't find any bugs, errors, and it was fun to play. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I don't know why. But it's like, you know, higher than average. So now let's switch over to College Retro Bolt and see if it can top what I just did, what I just played. All right. So as I've said, I've not played one bit of College Retro Bolt. So this will be the first time ever. And we'll see if it's the exact same thing with different teams or if it's actually something different. Uh, so... extremes oh wait this is quite different so the settings are in front of us and in the other one we could only pick favorite so that's i'm not going to pick a favorite because it kind of changes things oh and we get offers that's actually really cool so like we can get four offers from here oh like these are the different leagues all right that's cool we'll go with uh, colorado for now and random character yep all right Oh, we just changed everything. Okay, that's actually way cooler than the starting screen of the NFL Retro Bowl, if I remember correctly. Unless they've changed that too. Since I had already played, I didn't get to see it. So this is the same exact thing. Um, we're going to skip the tutorial. Oh, yeah. Oh, yearbook. Player yearbook. All right, that's pretty cool. Athletics office. There is some different... Oh, yeah. This is way cooler for sure. Ranking, schedule, postseason. Oh my days. This has way more like stuff to play around with. I mean, otherwise it is pretty much the same game. But um, it does have a lot more stuff. Like you see four boxes down here. In here you can go to click on this and you go through all these. This is pretty cool. So let's get into a game. Our team is really bad. If we check out our roster... It's really, really bad. Oh, and we only have 50,000. So, you know, it's quite um. Oh, and this is like freshmen, sophomores, juniors. Wow, that's actually really cool because in the NFL one. So I'm definitely liking this game more because it just has way more stuff to it. And overall, 3 and 8. Conference, 2 and 6. Yo, that's actually really cool. I've, this is If I had to choose between the two as of right now, I'd definitely choose College Retro Bowl. So, let's go. Um, we I think Arizona was our favorite team. So, we are playing our favorite team, apparently, on the first try. Wait, no, I'm confused. Because, yeah, whatever. I don't exactly remember. All right. So, the field is really cool. Because I don't think there was, like, all this these stuff on the NFL field. But otherwise, the jerseys are kind of retro and cool as well. Oh, and like there's different colors to it. Otherwise, it is pretty much the same game though. But if it is the same game, then I'm giving the win to Call It Retro Bowl because it just is way cooler. It's like its homepage and stuff is way um, more advanced. All right, it isn't. It is feeling better to play with this because I'm actually doing pretty good. In the other game, like I was getting cooked, 45 to 27. But in this game, like, we're not doing too bad. So, especially with the team we have. In the last game, we had a pretty good team since, you know, I'd played it before. But in this game, you know, our team's really bad. Like, it was two stars or something. And we're only down 7-0 now. I do realize we are about to... Oh, it's that an interception. All right. So, that was a pretty bad drive, I'd say. 
I didn't realize that the numbers were slanted. That's a good, that's like a cool touch and retro bowl college in the end zones is also pretty cool. But I am noticing there is no like sim game thing that we had in the other one, which was um or like skip time, which was a pretty important feature, I'd say, since, um you know, I kind of used it a lot. So I would take a few, a few decimal points off for that since they are missing a few things. Again, we do see... We do see the player's morale in the bottom left. Let's try scoring a touchdown to see if we get the... Oh, by doing the interception. Let's try scoring a touchdown to see if we can get the uh, get a different animation or if it's the same one. Oh, I think it's going to be the same animation, but we'll see. All right, 21-0. I thought we would be doing good. We're actually doing really bad. Although in college football, you know, the scores are way more blow blowouts. Um, when compared to real life NFL, so maybe we're doing an accurate representation. All right, I expected this guy to be open. He was not. All right, he is now wide open, and I missed through it. Oh my days! How in the world has that just happened? All right, twenty-eight zero. Let's skip to the fourth quarter and let's see if we can pull off a miraculous comeback, or at least make it close. All right, it is the fourth quarter, and yes, it is 42 to 0. And we still haven't scored, so I don't know if we're going to be able to see. Oh, let's go. Let us go. No, man. Okay, so, yeah. I'm going to give my rating at the end. Um, but I do think, I do think this game, I mean, there's, like, really good parts about College Retro Bowl, and then there's, like, the other parts, which are, Kind of bringing it back down to average so i would still say i would rather play this than normal retro bowl so i'm am gonna have to give a higher rating than eight i feel like eight might have been a bit too high for a normal retro bowl oh bro we just threw so many interceptions but i would if i have to since i gave the other one an eight i would have to give this one like a 8.5 or a nine i would say a 8.5 i'd say because it's just way cooler like the stuff you can play like play with is way cooler the stuff you can see the buttons you can click but um the score kind of shifts my mood it's 50 to 0 bro i'm not having fun right now so that's probably a me problem but it's gonna affect my score and at least on extreme mode in the other one we didn't throw like six interceptions so i'm definitely gonna have to take a few points like lower the score for this and Wait, were there timeouts? I don't think, I don't know if there were timeouts or not, but um, it's pretty much the same game, but this is just a little different. And I'd say the differences are uh, helping this, but like this, there was no sim tool. We threw six interceptions. Like who does that? That was just like I, a couple of those weren't even were the interceptions, but like, I feel like the sim game, um, the like the button where you can use sim. If that had been there, that would have definitely raised this, raised my score. But otherwise, yes, that is my decision. College Retro Bowl is better than normal Retro Bowl, and it's a, a lot better if you're actually good at the game. If you're not good at the game, it's only slightly better.